Hello students. Today we are going to discuss the last topic of the chapter measurements and that is known as UV VIS spectroscopy. UV here stands for ultraviolet and VIS stands for visible. So ultraviolet visible spectroscopy, this is a method which is used to find out band gap of semiconductors. Do you know what is band gap? Band gap is known as the difference between the energy levels of conduction and valence. So you can say the difference of energy between maximum level of valence band and minimum level of conduction band. Now this band gap is a medium for transfer of electrons. Either the electrons can move from valence to conduction during the absorption process or the electrons can move from conduction to valence during the emission process. So basically ultraviolet visible spectroscopy is a method which is used to find energy band gap of different materials by measuring the absorption spectrum. So this method deals with the amount of energy or amount of light intensity which, which is absorbed. So it basically uses the concept of absorbance which is the inverse of transmittance. Later we will be discussing what exactly is absorbance and transmittance. Band gap, as I just said, the energy difference between top of valence and bottom of conduction band. This is the band through which electrons are able to jump from one to another. That is during absorption or emission. So you can say band gap is the passage for electrons. The device which is used in ultraviolet visible spectroscopy is known as UVVIS spectrophotometer. The basic method measures the intensity of light passing through a sample. So suppose we have a semiconductor, say for example silicon, we want to find out the band, band gap of silicon, so that will be considered as the sample. So basic method will measure the intensity of light which passes through that sample and then it is, it, it is compared to, a, uh, to another material which, uh, whose intensity is calibrated as I0. So basically it is done on the basis of comparison of intensities. One, sam one is the sample for which the band gap is to be measured and the other one is the calibrated part whose intensity is already known. So comparison basis, on the basis of comparison the absorption or transmittance is found out and on the basis of that using tox relation we find out what exactly is the band gap. The basic setup for measurement is as below. So it uses a tungsten lamp or any, you can use a sodium lamp also. Now basically a lamp is a source which is known as, a in, known as an incoherent source. What do you mean by incoherent source? This will spread light in different directions. It has no fixed direction. It transmits in all different directions. But we need to measure, we need that this light should pass through sample and a reference cell. So what is done is this incoherent light which is spread out in different directions is passed through a monochromator. Monochromator is two mirrors and in between them a prism is placed. So what, what will this monochromator do? This monochromator will capture all the light and it will transfer this captured light into a parallel beam. But we need two different, we need to pass this light through two different cells. So what is done? We keep a beam splitter in between. So whatever parallel light strikes on the beam splitter that is converted into two different in, uh, light sources. One light source passes through the reference and the other light source passes through the sample. Then what is done? The output of reference and the output of sample is given to the detector wherein both the intensities are compared. So tungsten lamp is the light source whose wavelength and energy is known, the, so, the wavelength of light and energy is known. Monochromator is a device which, con, which converts the light into a parallel beam. Beam splitter will convert it into two different light sources. One uh, reference is the one whose intensity is known and sample is the one whose intensity is to be found out and detector actually compares these two intensities. So this basic setup which is known as a spectrophotometer is the setup for UVVIS spectroscopy. Construction point wise I have explained here. A tungsten lamp is used which generates light of wavelength lambda and energy H nu. This light is an incoherent source and so it spreads in all directions. 
the light from the lamp is made to pass through the monochromator to get a parallel beam of light it is then made to pass through the beam splitter so that it can be made incident on two cells because we need to compare two different intensities the two cells which are used here are a reference cell and a sample cell the intensity of sample cell is already known which is calibrated at i0 the lights from the sample and reference cells the different intensities they are collected by the detector the parallel beam now the working the parallel beam of light through the monochromator is passed through the beam splitter this passes through the reference and the sample cells and is collected by the detector now there is an amount of light which is striking on the sample cell so as you all know 100% light will never be absorbed and 100% light will never be transmitted so when the light strikes on the sample or on the reference cell what happens a part of it is absorbed and a part of it is reflected absorption depends upon the concentration of the cell higher the concentration higher will be the absorption so lower will be the transmittance and lower the absorption lower will be the absorbance and higher will be the transmittance again i repeat if intensity what what exactly uh, happens the light strikes on the reference cell depending upon the number of atoms per unit volume that is density of sample the light will be absorbed more or less so if concentration is more absorption is more so transmittance will decrease now the ratio of these two light intensities received is determined and that is what is known as transmittance i is the one which we have to find out and i0 is the one which is already calibrated so i is the intensity of sample and i0 is the intensity of reference so this t transmittance is known as i by i0 percentage t what is the amount of transmittance so if the percentage t is plotted with respect to concentration of sample we get an exponential decrease in transmittance with an increase in concentration let us just see the below graph suppose we are plotting percentage transmittance on the y axis and concentration on the x axis what is happening suppose i say that concentration is x and suppose with respect to x concentration transmittance is 100% what happens if the concentration is 2x transmittance will be half of it that is 50% if concentration is 3x it will be half of 50 that is 25% and so on so can you see just see that this is an exponential decrease basis on this exponential decrease it is very difficult to determine the parameters higher the concentration means more is the absorption so less is the value of intensity through the sample now it is difficult to extract characteristics from this exponential decrease so to avoid the complication due to exponential graph we will define another quantity which is known as absorbance absorbance can be denoted as capital a or capital abs any of the two symbols can be used and what is absorbance it is equals to ln of i not by i why do we have a need to write ln because if we want to remove this exponential term we will have to take natural logarithm because natural logarithm of e that is equals you can say that e raised to x if i take ln of e raised to x i will be getting x so to remove the exponential graph we need to take ln so ln of i not by i is equals to absorbance or you can write it is minus ln of i by i not if i just want to reverse these two terms i will be having a sign negative here or you can say now this term is nothing but i by i0 we have just defined as t so we can write to remove this negative sign if i say a is equals to minus ln t or i can write a is equals to ln 1 by t so this is the relation between absorbance and transmittance again i repeat the term ln we have written here because we need to remove the exponential relation so that is the reason we are using the term natural logarithm now there is an equation a standard relation to determine 
uh, absorbance to determine or to define absorption coefficient and that is known as tox relation this is a standard equation which is used to determine band gap and this equation states that alpha h nu h nu means the energy of light source so alpha h nu is equals to h nu minus eg raised to n what is the term alpha here this alpha here is known as the absorption coefficient h nu as i said is the energy of light eg is the term band gap which we need to determine and n here denotes the nature of transition so h nu is equals to energy of light eg is equals to band gap alpha is equals to absorption coefficient and n means the nature of transition nature of transition means now the transitions we have earlier discussed transition means it here we are dealing with the emission process so it can be a one step process known as direct transition or indirect transition so for a direct transition because direct transition is the type of transition which will give us light so for direct transitions the value of this n is by default taken as half so in this equation you can write alpha h nu is equals to under root of h nu minus eg because this n term is half so we can say that this absorption coefficient alpha from this equation can be determined as h nu minus eg raised to n upon h nu or you can say alpha is equals to square root of h nu minus eg upon h nu now you might be surprised that this equation this is the known term this we have to find out what is this alpha so this alpha is actually determined basis on the setup we have done here because this is the setup which will give us transmittance which will give us absorbance and there is a relation between absorbance and absorption coefficient or transmittance and absorption coefficient and that is given as alpha is equals to ln of 1 by t upon x so transmittance can be directly found out from the equation from the entire setup because that is equals to i not by i so alpha is equals to ln 1 by t upon x but you know that there is a relation between this term and absorbance you know that absorbance is equals to ln of 1 by t so we can find we can write absorption coefficient alpha is equals to ln 1 by t upon x or we can substitute absorbance here and alpha can be a upon x x means the concentration and a means the absorbance which is determined by the spectrophotometer so if you find out transmittance or absorbance you can find out absorption coefficient substituting the value of absorption coefficient in this equation because this is known n is also known we can determine eg so thus by knowing the transmittance or absorbance the band gap of a semiconductor can be determined using tox relation so the purpose of tox relation here is to find out the relation between alpha and eg and alpha is determined by the setup we have just discussed basis on which eg can be determined so this is all about uv vis spectroscopy and this ends our chapter measurements which has a weightage of 17% in gtu hope the topic was clear thank you